Make sure you pass inspection. <laughs> uh, Judge Guider, you can uh, come up to the bench and uh, deliver your remarks from the bench. six weeks. This would be my sixth week. And I've learned, I learned a lot of things. The one thing that quickly jumped out at me is the sheer volume of cases that goes through this courthouse. You know, being an attorney for <coughs> over 29 and a half years, I still had no idea how many cases go through this clerk of court's office every, every day. And, uh, and handled by the sheriff's office, the county attorney's office. And the thing that Mary County has going for it is we have very 
qualified people, qualified, dedicated people doing this. Otherwise, this, this whole system in Marion County would just collapse. And the ones I've been very impressed with is the clerk court's office, the county attorney's office and staff, in the Marion County Sheriff's Office. It's it just amazing that they, they can handle the volume. And I'm also very pleased that with, with those three offices and staff in my first six weeks that they've been very polite and helpful and professional with me. And they've been able to mask from me most of the time that look where did this guy come from? <laughs> I, have, I have caught a few of those. And then when I go home at night, I think about, now did I do that right? And then, then it dawns on me, no, I probably should have done that a little different. And that was probably what that look was for. And, and uh, there's been a few times that that I didn't catch it immediately, and uh, they were the people I deal with on a daily basis. In a polite, professional manner, they would point it out to me, the judge, you might, you might want to look at that again. Not in a bad way, but in a, in a perfectly acceptable way, and I, I'm real pleased and thankful that I've got people that I work with that are that, that way. Because we all, in what I've learned in six weeks is this whole system is dependent upon, we're all dependent upon each other. Another thing that uh, has jumped out at me as an attorney, there were different things that you would sit back and say, if I was a judge, I would do that differently. Now that I've sat in a different seat in the courtroom, I see that there's a reason why things are not done the way that I thought they, as an attorney, maybe they should be. Because as an attorney, you're looking at one side. You're looking at the big picture, but yet you're looking at one side. Up here, you're, you're definitely looking at both sides. And you can sit here and see the people and read their expressions and pick up something different. You can pick up more reading the people than you can sit in the council table and really only know what's going on. I would also like to thank all the judges who took the time to come, and most of these judges I've either talked to or tried cases in front of, and I would say that every one I've appeared before or talked to, I've learned something from. And since I've been appointed, there's some of them that I've talked to that just threw out different things. And every tidbit that they've thrown out to me, I found had meaning in the plot. And I thank you all. I'd like to thank the uh, commissioners and the judges who were responsible for putting me up here. And I will tell you that 